Hello, everyone. Didn't really expect me to play this game, huh? <laughs> Maybe some of you have. I already probably given you a whole bunch of clue of what I'm going to be playing instead of coffee talk. And uh, yeah, like, what are you guys like? Some of you might be thinking, like, why aren't you baking coffee? Like, I decided to give up on that for temporary reasons. Uh, <laughs> and find my dream daddy. Um, for those of you that don't know what this game is, basically it's a dad dating simulator. You're a dad dating another dad. Very simple in concept, and oh boy, the, the adventures we might, we might find in this. So... Um, I already kind of started playing this, and, um, yeah, I know a few things about this, uh, other than dating a dad. Uh, I was playing with my partner for a little bit, um, and, yeah, we just already gone through some of the things and some of the characters that we encounter and some of the situations we'll get put through. Um, so, but most of this game is a completely blind playthrough. And already, this is going to be an entertaining blast. So, um, hopefully, this will be fun. I'm still going to do a bunch of wacky, zany voices, even though they are not appropriate for some of these characters. But we'll go with that. So, eh. All right. So, let's hit a new game. <clears throat> All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, I thought for a second I thought that said, I know who this character is but I thought it said Amanda with an O in the middle dad dad wake up um okay so obviously there's gonna be some choices in here so I'm gonna go and quickly grab my phone don't disrupt the recording and uh, I am going to open up a dice roller this is totally professional I'm doing this I'm not cutting this I am totally pulling out my phone to pull up a dice roller on my phone just to do this because I I know like I can pretend to do this, but I, I already know what some of this happens, and some of this doesn't seem like it matters too much, but since I already know what I'm going through, um, I'm just going to randomize this real quick. So, And a roll. All right, so one, one, two is one, two, three. Three, four is two, and five, six is three. So we're going to go with option number three. Five more minutes. You said that five minutes ago, and also ten minutes ago. Oh. Uh, I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving, a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Good morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. All right, and here we go. Right in the get-go. I do want to say, um, uh, the maker... <laughs> was that Was that Aaron? I feel like that was Aaron. Uh, for those of you that don't know who helped produce this, uh, Game Grumps, the po well ever well popular Game Grumps, um, helped make this game. Uh, they're the main creators behind it, and a lot of people from that from the Game Grumps company um, helped provide some hilarious content, uh, in which we'll 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 get to know when we <laughs> when we start uh, browsing through these customizations. And uh, although I have not played a whole lot, I probably played like the first hour half hour probably eh. but we'll find out along the way like different references to game grumps and other popular media things so this should be fun all right so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna, gonna do with this uh hmm all right what do i want i you know i like after even looking at all these customization things um i still don't know what i really want um, I don't, I, what I don't like is just, these are the three main body types, and, like, I wish there's more custom, a little bit more options, honestly, but, um, I could go that, um, I don't want, I don't like the, how small it is, honestly, um, hmm, 
Uh, which dad bod do I want? Uh, for the sake, I, I, I'm kind of leaning on this a little bit. Um, uh, I'll go with that. What color do I want, though? Um, yeah, you know what? I'll, uh, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I want to chose. Um, you know what? I'll go with that. That one looks cool enough. Um, and what color skin do I want? Yeah, I kind of like that one. <laughs> I'll go with that one. Head. Do I go with round one? Mm, square jaw, triangle head, chin head. That's a weird head. That's a weird thing to call it. Oh, by the way, do I want hair? Hell yeah, I want hair. <laughs> um, ooh, round head. That kind of makes you look like a monkey. Uh, customization, the fun part of the game. Heart head. Eh, I kind of like heart head. All right, so here's some of the hair options. I know this is Danny's hair, and this is Aaron's hair. So we both know that this is a game, Grumps game. Also, this is, okay, this is a bun hair. All right, one thing I also like about this is that one of the options for hair, is this a Bob Ross hair? Oh, no. Well, I do want to say it's, it sounds like a Bob Ross. You could actually pick Goku hair, like space warrior hair. And there's like swoopy hair, slick hair. Uh, I'm gonna go with Bob Ross hair. Go natural brown. Um, I'm actually gonna change the head a little bit. Um, and make it more, I might go diamond head. That looks more like Danny, honestly, a little bit. Uh, if Danny wanted to try for an afro. That looks weird. That looks, well, that's okay. That looks, eh, I like triangle head. That, that kind of does look more like Danny now. A little bit, not a lot. I mean, if it, if it was Danny, he would probably have this hair. Yeah, yeah, that would look more like, it kind of look like Danny. I don't know. But anyway, uh, eyes. <laughs> I love the eyes for this. I like this eyes. <laughs> um, I like narrow eyes is okay. Um, this looks suspicious. I love the dot looking eyes. Those are my personal favorite. If there's anything that looks right to me, uh, that's personalization, those dot eyes look great. So I would go for that. Um, button nose. Um, is there a mirror nose? Mirror. That sounds familiar, but I don't know where it's from. Um, by the way, this is gonna like be the most of the gameplay, just me customization. Just kidding. I, this might take a while. I apologize. But uh, I like the pointy nose. I don't know about that snub nose. Mm, kind of leaning on the snub nose a little bit, but um, I like the pointy nose, the mirror nose. Yeah, the mouth, mouth. Um, what is the most derpiest face? Uh, Cupid's mouth. Hey, hey! Uh, full mouth, gap tooth mouth, hamburger. Hamburger? All right. Uh, kitty mouth. Uh, I like kitty mouth. I actually really like kitty mouth. Um, although salty mouth is actually kind of entertaining. Tongue out mouth. Uh, that kind of looks weird, so I'm not going to go with that. Um, yeah, kitty mouth. Um, okay, do I have colored lips? No, I do not. That's fine. Mouth. Bruise. All right. Um, do I get wizard brows? Do I get round? Is there a Danny? Yeah, there is. Danny brows. Hell yeah. With a little etching. You know, I kind of do that with my eyebrows a little bit too. You can't tell because I'll never show my face. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, but like I usually, like I intentionally cut right there on the eyebrow um, for style purposes. But that doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Mm. I like the slim eyebrows. Slim eyebrows look nice. Um, the slim. And we'll go for a darker brown color. Yeah, it's not very noticeable, but that'll do. Facial hair. Hmm. Creepy stash. <laughs> yeah, that looks, that looks cool. Um, the chevron, chevron facial hair, or the sickle beard facial hair, or the horseshoe, or the handlebar. Uh, I like the handlebar. I always love that Mia handlebar. Um, I'm gonna go with a, uh, you know, I'm gonna change my hair into like a more darker. Yeah, there we go. That's that's more actually. Um, yeah, no, more of more of a like that color. So yeah, that's my, that's not my hair, but. That is my type of hair color, so it's pretty close to that. Uh, facial hair, it's a bit more brighter, more redder, more than anything. 
Um, all right, and glasses. Um, uh, let's see here. What kind of glasses would I wear? Mm, vintage. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll go horn rim. That's the kind of glasses I would wear. Um, fortunately, they don't have the color that I normally would use, which is blue. So this is pretty much the closest one we got. So piercings? No piercings. Not a big. Not too big on piercings. Um, it's yeah. There's. I can go with my underoos, but I'm not going to. There's plain white tee. Uh, Aaron's clothes. Fergie. Uh, Danny's clothes. He is a member of Ninja Sex Party. For those of you that don't know. Uh, then the badass tee. Egg nips tee. Flower tee. Maple bay tee. Calm the prey. I don't even know that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going with that. Sagan is number one. Um, plain suit, kitten suit, um, navy suit, party suit, and Tommy Bananas. Tommy Bananas, I, 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 first time I played it, that name sounds familiar, but I have no idea who it, where, where, what it's referencing. So, I'm going with the kitten suit. Yeah. All right, so now I gotta figure out a name. Fun, fun stuff. Where is my keyboard? I have a Bluetooth keyboard and I don't know where I put it. I don't have it in front of me. I do not have proper recording because I'm recording at home, at my parents' home, and I do not have a desk. So, um, what am I gonna name him? Um, well, let's call him Gordy. Oh, whoops. Um, I thought I hit the shift. Gordy. Um, actually, no, I'm going to call him Gordy with a Y. Yeah, Gordy with a Y. And then I'm going to do Mick. Mick. Flippin. Flippin. Uh, Mick Flippin. Oh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. Mick Flippin. Flop. Mick Flippin. Flop. Oh, Mick. <laughs> McFlippinf, Mc McFlippinf, McFlippinf, McFlippinf. That's I don't I'm not crazy about that. Let's go with something else. Uh, Gordy, um, Munchnips. That's what we'll call him, Munchnips. Gordy Munchnips, and my daughter will be named Amanda Munchnips. <laughs> nice. Let's go and let me put the keyboard down. And be that dad. Yeah. Start building credit as early as possible. Oh, yeah. All right. Did you fall asleep packing? <laughs> hey, there I am. That looks great. I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Yeah. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. I pulled out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and began looking through it. Oh, well, there's a cute little baby with sunglasses. <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Uh, the only way. All right, so this one, I think it's just, um, you got to figure out how gay do you want to be. So... <laughs> That pretty much sums that up. So I'm going to roll on my phone again, and I'm going to randomly determine whether I am gay. I don't know. Whether I married my father. Uh, my father. Jeez, what a Freudian slip there. Uh, whether I uh, whether I had a husband or um, wife. Wife. Waifu. All right. Odds. Um... Odds will be father, evens will be mother. And father it is. The only way your father and I, the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. Mm -hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Uh -huh. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Mm. I don't think that was his... 
Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms! Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down on down 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 down, down the road. Yeah. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. The Scommunist Manifesto has a chance had a chance back in the day. I look off in the distance and reminisce about the rad horn section. Mm. <laughs> that was that rad horn section. Hell yeah. Hey, it's Emma P. Uh, no, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. <gasps> Dad, Emma, P Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. All right, Emma P was the one who... Uh, either tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, or pooped her pants during a sleepover. I got a text! But I can't look at it right now because I'm recording! Stop texting me! Excuse me. Alright, so... D6, uh, one, two, will be one, three, four, will be two, and five, six, will be whatever. Here we go! It's a four! So that's number two. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right? Dad, that was you. Oh, right. <laughs> I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity of where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. Uh. Yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Uh. Anyway, I gotta show this to MR later. She'll get, a, she'll get a kick out of it. Uh, the first photography award you've ever won! Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to make Fridays. Yeah. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Ugh. Dad. Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. Amanda reaches down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. I love you, Amanda. I don't know what my, what my, what my husband would say, but man, oh man. We stare at the photo for a long moment. <sighs> I finally decide to break the silence. Um, this is the day we... Alright, so, I'm also gonna randomly decide on this, so... Um, uh, alright, um, odd first, even second option. Alright, first option. This was the day you were born. It's kind of a funny story. <laughs> we got into a car accident right there in the hospital parking lot. It wasn't anything big, just a big fen just a big fender bender. Everyone died. Uh, but of course everyone of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks direct me in the directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Mmm. Uh. Uh. He was right, you know. I stare at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Uh. She pats me on the back. Uh. Come on, Pops, we gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Eh? boop a doo Strong man! Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Mm. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had a very strong arms. Ah. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? Uh, you're a very imaginative child. Hey, hey remember when I broke the back window? Pl we get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Ah. And there will be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. mirror, mirror. <laughs> so... So what? Mm. So sell me on our cool new pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features... Uh, I did washer and dryer on the first time. Do I want it? Two-car garage. I like multiple places to sleep. 
I'm gonna go with that. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink. Yeah. <laughs> what a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the weak, you sleep more than anyone I know. Hmm. I admit my faults, Pop. Pops, I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Nope, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm? So you won't have to chase any rowdy te teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Mm -hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. I'm... Someone snapped his fingers, and now I'm disappearing! Whoa! Yeah, you're real. Mm -hmm. You're real... Uh, don't you dare! Uh, senior... Mm -hmm. Dad, I know where this is going! Citizen. Hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh. But I won't forget it. So, what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that are just blocking the living room. So I have to install the washer and dryer, we need to go grocery shopping. Uh. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house. It's a pink house. A very, very pink house. Wonder what this house would look like in real life. But it doesn't matter. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! Crash. And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority. Bow, bow, bow. I'm so proud. Uh. <laughs> yes, I am. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some copy. 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 ASAP. Uh, did you even see all the docks, dogs in the park nearby? Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna random roll this. I don't know which one I want to do first. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Last one, okay. Uh, that's what I did before. I, I rolled a six, so naturally it's the last one. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? You know it. Thanks for thank you for moving me to an, uh, moving us to an area where the dog to person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell "dog" to rock it way up. I mean, you do that a lot already. Yeah. Dog, hey, it's a dog! Damn it! <laughs> I jumped the gun already. Damn it! Oh, well. Mm. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny-shaped rock. ha <laughs> So I technically would win. If you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. <laughs> it's rude to ask people about their mysterious hand tattoos. I'll keep that in mind. Good dad tip. Uh, Amanda and I begin a stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the streets, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Hmm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. <laughs> We're on to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Whoa. Ah! I'M DEAD! A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Directly! <laughs> a corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. Um... Um... Hello! Hello! <laughs> Boy, that really blasted the, the sound there a little bit. That's okay. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you impart me on your wisdom, tiny dog? Pet the, uh, pet the dog. But where do I pet the dog? <gasps> Give him those head rubs. We need some chin scratches. 
Dare we try the butt pets? Hell yes. I give him the customary pets. The dog loves this. Good call. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. <laughs> you know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, when you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads, it's a new teak. Um, I'll catch you with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard this round. Not again. Not ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Gordy, and this is my daughter, Amanda. And that's a Gordy with a Y, thank you very much. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> um... Your dog is cool. Uh, uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian just over gestures over to a grassy knoll. Oh, my nose. My nose is stuffy. I'm going to take a sip of water real quick. Uh, uh, delicious water. Hydrate, everyone. Um... Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. Uh, this is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov, or however you pronounce that. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skill of a high schooler. How old is she? Uh, Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> my natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments! Oh no. It's happening. <laughs> go on, go on, Daisy. Tell him about yourself. Uh, um, I, I, uh... That's my girl! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. Gordy's HP. This is a legit Pokemon battle. What do I do? Alright, um, what do I got for... Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. <laughs> Can I flee? I don't know what will happen if I flee, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use an item. Um, I am going to use um great card. You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last great card out of your back pocket. Dad, awesome grades. Brian loses 25 HP. Hell yeah. You're really carrying that around everywhere? Ooh, yeah, maybe it's kind of weird. You lose 5 HP. So basically, I'm trying to run up the other dad with, with daughters. Uh, Daisy just... Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab! She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10 HP. Gordy, 65. Brian, 55. Hell yeah. Uh, what do I got? What do I got? Uh, uh, child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Q! It isn't very impressive. It isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Brian loses 10 HP. You regain 20 HP. Neat! Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! We're we're taking it out, we're taking it out out next weekend. How is that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. It's extra powerful. You lose twenty HP. Oh my god. <laughs> um. All right. So daughter. All right. Let's brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Wow! Congratulations. Brian loses ten HP. Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry, co poetry contest. You lose 15 HP. Oh my god, this is so intense! 50 to 35. What do I do? Maybe I'll brag. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. It's extra powerful! Brian loses 20 HP! Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. Amanda's was potty. Still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. You lose 10 HP. All right, this is getting intense. 40 HP to 15 HP, what'll I do? Time to brag. Uh, Amanda's in all honors classes this semester. Brian loses 10 HP. 
Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade. Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one. You lose 20 HP. Gordy, 20 to 5. Who's gonna win? I'm gonna brag. A few months back, Amanda started volunteering at the homeless shelter in our old neighborhood. Brian loses 10 HP. I've got him on the ropes. You two seem to have a good relationship. It warms my heart. Ah, why would I have to be such a good loser? Ah! Let's continue. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh. Yeah, we lived in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. Uh. What a coincidence. That's where we live too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that ranch, little ranch style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to out, have to out, 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 do I me at everything, including speaking? What a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Well, Brian and Daisy walked further into the park with Maxwell happily tr uh, trotting along in the toe. <laughs> That's my dog noise. That will always be my dog noise. And I'm a cat shirt man. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? <clears throat> trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Let's never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Munchchip. Munch Munchnips. Sorry. <laughs> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. All right. So do I go to the coffee top coffee shop? Go unpack? Go take a nap? Let's roll for it! Yay! Huh? Number two. We're going to the coffee shop. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice. Well, I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it! Do 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 do! Alright, um, I'm not gonna stop. I'm actually gonna try and do make this in an hour episode because, um, it's the first episode and we got a lot to cover. So. And I don't know how long this game is. Well, technically I do. For a normal playthrough, it's about like four and a half to five hours. So we got get we got a lot to get through in such a small amount of time. So we're going to keep going. Yay! We walk down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make an awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home with some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel, like, a little weird about it because technically he is not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Dad... And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go to get set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're the jerk who left their mug? Oh, the, the, the possibilities are endless! Aww. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of shouting. <laughs> hey. The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in worn in couches. Yes, some cool tunes spin on a record player next to the little stage. Hey. hey, welcome. Hey, welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and... I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running? <laughs> but people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Oh. I like you, Matt. You're just as awkward as I am in real life. <laughs> uh, so what will it be? <laughs> what will it be? 
I don't know what voice I'm going to give him, because it's going to sound exactly like my normal voice. I scan the chalkboard menu, and I am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... Uh, Godspeed you, black coffee, iced tea. Um... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with a chai ant word. Hey. Spicy. Um, <laughs> uh, not that one. S sp <laughs> I'm not gonna give him this. I'm not gonna give him this voice because that'll be too ridiculous. Um, uh, I guess I'll give him a Kermit voice. Whatever. Mm, good, mm, spicy. Uh, I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Die ant word is a South African. Yeah, I know who ant South die ant word is. They're pretty well known for their um, evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. Their music is as catchy as it is disturbing. Uh -huh. hmm. I'm doing the thing again, hey. but coming right up. Hmm. And for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Hmm. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or Biggie Smalls? Uh, medium. <laughs> Wait, is Biggie Smalls big or small? Um, um, I should have cheated that, shouldn't I? Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey! Skull was cool once. <laughs> this couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's all right. Good lumber support. You might sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house. That guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. <laughs> yeah, it's too close to home. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table, and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Gordy. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. <laughs> Uh, you know, let me get your guys' opinions on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. My butt aches. I am sitting on a crate. That is not a joke. That is not scripted. I am actually sitting on a crate because I do not have a decent chair yet. Uh, I'm working on a brand new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda Knotts vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with, uh, I taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes. That. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. Hey. This is amazing! Hey. Thanks, the secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's, grateful banana bread, right said, right said banana bread. I'm gonna go banana bread Kennedy's. I kind of like Banana Bread Kennedy's, but it's also not good. <laughs> what the hell's right said Banana Bread? Uh, I, I don't want to go with Grateful Banana Bread. Um, for the sake of it, I'm going to go with right said Banana Bread. Like, like right said Fred. Uh, but th now it's about Banana Bread. I think the youngsters would like it despite not getting it. What is right like right right? Right said Fred. What? what? That actually... That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Oh. Yeah, right said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Oh my god. I don't even know who that is. Am I a youngster? Oh my god. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it... Oh, because you called me baby. Oh. 
uh, I realize it uh, doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Enjoy your coffee! Bye! Thanks, baby. Hey. Uh, see, uh, see, it sounds good when you're saying it. <laughs> Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet, just for a moment. Whoa, a mysterious stranger with a beard? Uh, eh. <clears throat> I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hmm. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, okay. Now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I should get back to unpacking, or I need a nap. Uh, I want to do some unpacking, because I got coffee in me. I got a lot on my plate now. right now. Do you know that moving is one of the biggest resources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Uh, probably. Ooh, do I smell bad? <laughs> Amanda gives me a whiff. You're fine, Pops. Let's go home. Woo! All right. Uh, quick second, I gotta take off the sweater that I've been wearing the whole time. Ah! And we are actually back. <laughs> Alright, no one will notice me grabbing the Nintendo Switch controllers, which will do absolutely nothing with a laptop. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass, and I get some good work done. Not good advice. Uh, although good advice is really good. Uh, the wash-dryer unit is both washing and drying, and we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. Oh, first visitor already? Mm, golly. I walk over to the door and open it. Um, oh, shit. What voice am I going to give this one? Um... Um... <sighs> Hello! 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 No, 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 no. Um, I guess I'll make it like a Michael McDonald voice? I don't know. <laughs> uh, a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Hello? Yeah. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. <laughs> Why did I give him this accent? <laughs> Oh, yes, hi, I'm Gordon. Gordy, not Gordon. Uh, that's what my name is, Gordy, not Gordon. Oh. I uh, saw so the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she picked them herself. <laughs> what kind of voice is this? Joseph leans in and whispers, oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate ki uh, chocolate chips. <laughs> we both share a laugh. <laughs> Kids, right? The little demons, <laughs> uh, bastards and all that. Wow, cookies! You flung in, flew in really quickly, really close to him. Cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. And disappears with the cookies, as per usual. Hmm. Amanda, come... B and she's gone. All right. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Uh, daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <laughs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you try to try to raise more than, y more than two. Yeah. I have four kids. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh. Uh, I meant... Yeah. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I met in my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move on to move again. Uh yeah, okay. Is the missus around? Mr Mr. actually, and uh No, not anymore. He died. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Um Oh uh, I'm sorry for your loss. No no, it's it's alright. Wow. This is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Uh, I'm sorry. C can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. Comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I remember not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul de sac, and I'd love for you to come and meet him by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our neighborhood. What do you say, pal? <sighs> That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on a Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. 
Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Yeah. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Joseph is gone. He seemed nice. I don't know about his voice, but... Uh, Amanda walks back into the living room. Crumbs on her face and cookies in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? They're gone. Uh, I'm sorry. Right. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? <laughs> uh, I guess I mean, that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. Do I actually go back? No? Okay. I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. We're gonna murder them. With kindness. And love. Especially the love. Amanda and I step outside. Shoot, uh, uh I'm actually not sure... Good one, Gordy. You're really good at keeping an eye on where, of asking him good questions. Um, um, I hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed well -groomed children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Hey, y'all don't look creepy. Damn kids. Uh, I mean, especially these two. These two are the ones that creep me out a little bit more. Hey, guys! Is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. Ah, these damn kids! We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these are definitely Joseph kids. They all look exactly like him. Even with the hair. Like, it's all the hair. Christy. Uh, I'm just gonna give them all generic kids' voice. Whoa! They were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. But I didn't get to eat any. I chuckle nervously. Well, okay. We're just going to set this place on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly. Right, Dad? Right. That's what we're going to do. The kid's eyes bore into, a, into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. I need to get some, get my mind off of those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Yeah. Hmm. You've been awake for, what, three hours? Yeah. That's three hours too many. <laughs> Minimize... Oh, shit. Uh, wait. Weren't we already home? <laughs> How do we end up here? <laughs> I am confused. Uh, as we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Gordy, bro! I know exactly who this is. I turn around and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. A total bro! Craig? Craig Penderson? Hmm. Bro. Who is Craig Penderson anyway? I don't know who Craig Penderson is anyway. I wonder who does his voice anyway. Uh, bro! Oh. Holy. Wow! I haven't seen Craig in forever. Hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great! Hey. <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Clean Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Amanda, this is my best friend. This is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude! You probably don't remember me, but you're so big now! Hello, and hello, cute baby! Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. River Penderton. Henderson, whoever. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Mm -hmm. uh, I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. Uh, she's actually still goes by Miss Smashley, and uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. 
We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all cop copacetic. Words. T twins? You have three kids? Mm. Ain't life something, bro. Right? <clears throat> Keg Stan Craig is the father. Three! That I just noticed the baby's making a little bubble. Cool. Mm. Cute little baby making a little mm, spit bubble. A keg at Stan Craig? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Mm. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a, handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Oh. Right. He was very good at it. Mm. Uh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog... yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog for the rest of, jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sounds great. Great, let's get that. Let's get that. It's going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back on, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Mm -hmm. Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time, I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what, he, what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs! He was jogging! He's like a totally different person. Uh, anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Uh, how much time? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm -hmm. Aw, Dad, it'll be, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Huh. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Ah. A dog? Yes. Dog! <laughs> Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? <laughs> Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. <Huh. laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. We're getting mail already? <laughs> Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one up, she pulls one out, and throws the rest back on the floor. Yeah. This is the McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Oh, but I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a big deep breath uh, and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes start back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admission committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we. Her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. Uh. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Uh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their missions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you work you put onto your into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Mm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Hmm. I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, oh and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Ugh. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... Yes. Well, I'll have you know that I'm conveniently already have plans for tonight. Yeah, I know the grammar's wrong with that, so don't correct me on that. So you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. 
I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. Uh, quickly, where's my phone? I need to roll! Uh, fuck. I don't want to go clubbing. Can I get a different answer? All right, I'm secretly the mayor of the town. Amanda, the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral, mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. Yeah. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Yeah. Eh, he was not. <laughs> right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Son of a bitch. Do I go to bed? Do I go out of... I need to roll! I have... This is... Undiscoverable territory. What do I roll? Go to bed. I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. <laughs> we'll try to keep it down. <laughs> I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. Now forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Awesome. Night, Pops. All right. Don't use my metal utensils. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. R rise and shine, early birds. Do want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Uh, smiley face. <laughs> uh, holy crap! It's six a.m. Who does six a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back. To s <laughs> Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Uh, whoops! Must have winked back out. I check my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. So, do I go back to sleep, or do we go to the gym? Well, I'm actually going to stop right here on this perfect cliffhanger. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the first episode of me trying to find a dream daddy. This will be fun. This will be entertaining. I don't know what's going to happen. From oh, I mean, I know what's going to happen when I meet up with Craig, if I do meet up with Craig. But we'll find out when I get there. So... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this, hit uh, the like button if you like the video specifically. And if you want to see more content of me playing video games, um, hit the subscribe button. I have a bunch more content. I played Coffee Talk. I am currently playing Inside and a few other games that I played too. And a back catalog of me playing games f many years ago. Hit the, hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more. I also have a playlist that will pop up some point during this video. And... Uh, I have a Twitter page. It's a raw battleship. Uh, at a raw battleship, it's in the link. To, it's in the description below. And I also have a separate channel that is mainly me doing voice acting stuff. Um, which is a uh, kid with a golden dub productions. Um, that will also that will also be somewhere throughout this video or um in the link below in the description below. Um, and yeah. So thank you once again, and I hope. You have a wonderful time finding, someday, the daddy of your dreams. Bye-bye! <laughs>